let us see what is there in this question four of the energy states of an atom are shown <clears throat> the transition between any two states is possible what is the shortest wavelength of the radiation that can be emitted from these four states on the surface looks like really very difficult question and students would be confused like how to do this but do not worry about this it's there is a method of doing it so you so that you can understand like how to find the shortest wavelength and the longest wavelength first of all we must remember that the formula for the energy of a photon is h nu at nu is the frequency which can also be written as hc by wavelength lambda so if the frequency is high energy is high if a frequency is lower energy is lower similarly if wavelength is now indirectly proportional to energy so if wavelength is shorter energy is higher if wavelength is bigger the energy is lesser now they're talking about the shortest wavelength so shortest wavelength means the maximum amount of energy possible so maximum energy obviously the biggest transition has to take place because we want to talk about the maximum amount of energy change so that is from e1 to e4 clearly so the change in energy should be e4 minus e1 now the shortest wavelength will be emitted so he's talking about the emission spectra so energy should be emitted so if energy is emitting it means that electron initially was at higher energy level and now it is actually dropping to the lowest energy level only then it will be emitting energy otherwise it will absorb energy and it, the electron will get excited so this is de-excitation that is taking place or relaxation that is taking place <clears throat> so e4 minus e1 now this is the total energy so total energy like this is one of the principle of bohr that the total energy which is given out by the electron that will be given out in one packet of energy it cannot create two packets or three packets so one packet of energy is given by hc by lambda clear so lambda is the shortest you can write lambda minimum here we want to find the lambda now so lambda will be equal to hc divided by e4 minus e1 do we have that kind of option here yes the a option is clearly written there so a is the correct option for this question this is how we do this question it's a highly conceptual question no doubt about that you can think on it and please watch the video again and again if you do not understand it so there can be many options no like they can create another question which will say maximum wavelength minimum frequency or the maximum frequency you must know how to answer this question okay my dear students so this is how we do this question let us check the uh, answer from the mark scheme for me the answer is a and yes the answer is given as a Okay, dear students, all the best. Bye. Please share the video with all of your friends.